On October the 1st, 2001, Sony, a Japanese electronics company founded in 1946, joined Swedish-born Ericsson, 70 years its senior, in holy matrimony. The early years of marriage gave rise to some fascinating and varied offspring, namely the P800 PDA, the T100 with its monochromatic display, and the Z200 and S700 with their respective clamshell and swivel form factors. In 2002, a fall in market share caused speculation of an ugly separation, but after kissing and making up, both husband and wife reinvested money into the venture, thus underlining their commitment to each other and their union. Born unto Sony and Ericsson in the summer of 2005 was the T610, a bouncing little camera phone and the first of many. Indeed, June 2005 was a happy and prosperous month for the proud parents, with the arrival of a playmate for the T610 in the form of the K750. Sony and Ericsson couldn't have been more proud of their little K750, who grew up to be the best-selling Sony Ericsson phone of all time. In 2005, and closely followed in 2006, the first Walkman and Cybershot feature phones were delivered. Come 2007, things couldn't have been rosier for the happy family, with 100 million handsets sold, making it a most prosperous year. But then, towards the end of the year, a dark figure loomed upon the horizon, determined to spoil the smartphone party and push the relationship to its limits. In response to the iPhone came the Xperia X1 running Windows Mobile, and then the beginning of an extramarital affair with Android, marked with the birth of the X10. In 2009, the world's first 12 megapixel camera phone took the stage, the initially well-received Satio. But this black sheep of the family was expelled from both car phone warehouse and phones for you, with software issues being cited as the reason in the sullied school report. Green heart phones, handsets with Bravia engines and the bouncing Best Buy Xperia Play with its PlayStation endorsement have all followed in their older siblings' footsteps, but none of them have yet been able to replicate the success of the older models. Recent data shows Sony Ericsson handsets slipping down the ladder to become the 10th most sold phone manufacturer in the world, suggesting the marriage is going through a particularly rocky period. So the 10 years of marriage has had its ups and downs for Sony Ericsson, but what will the next 10 years hold? Read in-depth, impartial reviews of all the latest Sony Ericsson handsets at which.co.uk forward slash mobile.